Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into a feature within our virtual airline client that we've been using for some time now uh, on the channel at Osprey Airways and that is New Skies Restore function. Really really useful bit of kit, an incredibly good feature and uh, actually probably the best currently available within Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'm going to show you in this video exactly how to use it. So hit like and subscribe, share your thoughts down in the comments below and we'll dive straight in. For today we're going to be travelling out of Manchester Airport, a very short uh, domestic hop down to London Heathrow. Live weather, live time as is always the case. But we're also tracking our flight on the new Sky client. So as we would ordinarily within our virtual airline, we'd plan our route on New Sky's website or in the app itself. We've generated our OFP and uh, we've connected into the sim and begun to track our flight. So we're getting everything set up and you can see here various features being logged already. And we're just going through all of the pre-flight prep up to our takeoff uh, and our departure for this short service. So if you are traveling with Osprey Airways uh, and logging your flight with New Sky, go through all of your pre-flight prep as you would, make sure all your route and everything is input and imported, and you would take off and you would begin your journey as you would with any other flight. What this restore function does is give you a failsafe for when things go wrong. So we spend a little bit of time beginning our flight and everything is happening as it should, everything is working correctly. But of course this is Microsoft Flight Simulator and it can be problematic and uh, frequently unstable, certainly when some of these uh, sim updates get pushed and it breaks a lot of stuff. So. We don't really have much of an ability to save a flight and it can be incredibly frustrating once we get airborne, we're perhaps uh, halfway through a two hour flight, three hour flight and then bam, crash to desktop happens. Well, New Sky has got a solution and we've been enjoying that with Osprey Airways for some time and I've been asked to create a video tutorial, this video, to show you all how it works uh, if the worst was to happen. So we're going to configure all the way up towards our cruiser flight level 190 here in the Flyberwire A32NX for a little hop down uh, to London Heathrow and at some point the worst will happen and I'll show you how to get your flight back on track with as little disruption as possible. So all I've gone into at the moment is an open climb to flight level 190. Instead of following the precise restrictions, the constraints of the uh, SID here at Manchester, I've gone into an open climb to uh, cruise altitude. So already progressing through flight level 90 at the minute on standard pressure. And then we're going to go through our various sort of 10,000 feet checks like turning the landing lights off, the nose lights, all that kind of stuff and uh, the seatbelt sign as well as we wish. Because it's a super short flight, we would now begin to be sort of thinking about our descent, making sure that our descent phase is already um, prepared and we begin to think about the approach as well because of it being a short flight. So we can even think about um, the arrivals. Thankfully, because we're flying to Heathrow and it's super short, we've already got the Honolulu One Hotel arrival in and we're expecting runway 27 right for uh, our arrival and our approach. But as we cross 10,000 feet, the worst happens. A crash to desktop. Wildly frustrating, but all we need to do 
is load back into the sim, get it all booted back up again, and uh, head back to that world menu. Same aircraft, same livery, and we can pick any airport in the vicinity of where we roughly had that crash to desktop. Because this is a short route, we can just select Manchester again. Um, even if you know, if we were at Honolulu, for example, as a waypoint, we could select Birmingham because that's right below us. Uh, and we'll go through all of the steps required once we get back on stand. If you were flying, for example, uh, Heathrow to Alicante and you're midway across France during your route, have a little look at uh, roughly the area that you've had that crash to desktop at and find a suitable airport there to spawn back in. So back in again onto the world map and we're going to just select uh, any ramp area as we see fits. We could spawn on the runway if we want to as well if we're flying or flying but we'll go for the ramp to begin with just to slow things down for you guys watching and then we spawn on back into the sim. Okay, so back in the aircraft, we can have a look at New Sky, and the app here, the client, shows that we have uh, Restore Flights as a button that we can toggle. So we're going to go ahead and press Restore Flight. And now it gives us a number of prompts. So it asks for uh, the current location and the aircraft to be valid. So we do need to make sure we are in the correct aircraft. We spawn back in, for example, we, we took off here with the Flyboire A32NX, we need to make sure we spawn back in with that aircraft and it will give us two ticks and it will show green to show that that is correct. As it says here, uh, select the correct aircraft and spawn at any airport of your choice. It doesn't have to be close to where your flight was interrupted, but the closer you are, the less scenery will be required to be loaded in by the sim when New Sky teleports us momentarily to our last known location. Really great feature this. Before we press next, I'm going to go ahead and put power to the aircraft, turn the systems on. And get it roughly set up how I want it. And I'm going to turn the APU on as well. So some aircraft, like this, you can spawn everything in really fast and uh, that will allow you to continue your flight pretty quick. Back to New Sky then. We're going to hit that next button and it now asks us to set our fuel and payload as it was when we had that crash to desktop. So uh, you can see here currently we've got 42,501 kilos of um, zero fuel weight and our fuel load currently 4,890 and it shows you roughly what it wants us to um, have that range within. So we need to change our load and our fuel accordingly. Depending on the aircraft you're in, what you want to do is head into the kind of loading tabs for the fuel. And we can go ahead and type a suitable number in there between the minimum on the left 4002 and the maximum 4803 so I'm going to type in 4800 and then I'm just going to load it instantly and you can see now that we've done that and we've loaded it instantly that 4800 kilos has been recognized and we've got a tick there to show that New Sky is happy with that I'm going to keep it on the screen a little while longer and uh, show you the EFB at the same time as the new Sky app. We're going to look at payload now and uh, what we can do is import as it was from Simbrief a little earlier on with our passengers and our cargo loads and we haven't yet loaded it so it's still shown amber on new Sky but when we press instant and begin boarding you can see those figures change and now uh, the zero fuel weight is 57357 which is precisely where we want it because the APU is on you can see that the fuel load um, is actually reducing slightly we've lost two kilograms that APU is burning fuel at the back slowly when we're happy with that 
we can now press next. We've got two green ticks. We go to step three. We prepare the aircraft for takeoff. And as you can see here, it says prepare your aircraft for departure as you did during your original flight. Insert the same flight plan and the same flight parameters. When you're ready, take off as usual, retract all flaps and reach level flight. Then hit restore state button to restore the last location and resume navigation with the direct two. What it then also gives us is a little bit of a prompt to give us an idea into our autopilot in advance so we can add in um, heading, altitude, anything like that. Depending on the aircraft that we're in, we might need to input specific bits of data just to make sure that it's all set quite nice. Um, random figures though, 290 in the airspeed, 160 for heading, altitude 11,700 feet and at vertical speed 3300. We're not going to press restore state yet. Instead we're going to follow all those steps and we make sure that our aircraft is ready for departure. So we're going to load in, as we did before, the steps of this aircraft, our Simbri flight plan, EGCC to EGLL. If, for example, we loaded in at Birmingham, we would still load this in as if we were departing from Manchester. And we want to make sure we've aligned the IRS as required and loaded in all of our route data as well. So spend a few minutes getting the aircraft all configured making sure your weight and balance and everything is calculated accordingly. You want to make sure that your route is a precise match for your original departure. So Samba 1 Romeo out of 2 3 right and that way your, all of your waypoints are going to match up quite nicely. Make sure it's all neatened up and if you had an arrival procedure input make sure that is in and all the data is correct as well. Once you've got everything in the FMS set up go ahead push back start all the engines get configured for a normal routine takeoff once again. What I've done on the FCU is set um, an initial altitude of just 2000 feet so we get nice and level quite quickly and it gives us then time to sort out gear up and all the rest of it. We're not going to need to necessarily worry about autopilot but we do need to make sure that the aircraft is ready for the restore state function that we're about to use and that we're ready ourselves as well because it, uh, it's going to be a busy 30 seconds or so. Once we do press that restore state button New Sky will give us 30 seconds to stabilize the aircraft, get the autopilot systems running smoothly again and controlling the aircraft before it begins to continue to log the flight again. So straight to the demo, rolling out on the takeoff, you don't need to necessarily worry about lights, maybe try and match the same light setting that you had on the uh, crash to desktop time, so if you're over 10,000 feet you could even think about landing lights off for that, but work through takeoff as normal in your aeroplane. And then get yourself ready for a restore state function. Remember for this we're going to be Altstar level at 2000. Back into the climb gate which is where we were earlier and we can work through our flat retraction schedule if we want to as well. And now I'm going to show you guys New Sky's screen once again. So, remember before we had IAS 290, well we're in an Airbus so let's just leave that in managed mode. Heading 160, again managed mode for that, and Alt 11700. We had it set for 19,000 feet because of the flight today to Heathrow. And that's all we need to figure uh, and think about. I can look up in the overhead panel where I could do landing lights, nose lights, turn off lights, wing lights and the seatbelt signs if I wish. 
as well just to remember how we were configured earlier and this is where it gets busy now I'm going to hit that restore state function on your screens and snap back to our old location in three two one bam so it's loaded in straight away we're autopilot on we're going to do just a little recycle of that I'm going to go to heading mode speed can stay the same and I'm just going to make sure we're in open climb you can see autopilot 1, the enunciators and everything else on there and we're towards Utuxa so direct Utuxa direct managed mode and then we're going to return back to the climb check the overhead to make sure that's all fine that's all looking good and as you can see on the logger flight restored log will start in 30 seconds at 14.14.05 and at 14.14.34 position update before the altimeter change and it's now continuing our flights tracking with our virtual airline client software New Sky and we're back to where we were at the time of the crash to desktop pretty neat right and that's it we can continue on our journey to London Heathrow or wherever it is that you might be flying with our Osprey Airways uh, virtual airline client New Sky fantastic tool the best at what it does in the flight sim world at the moment as well certainly for Microsoft Flight Simulator and its uh, occasional CTDs the way it saves our flights makes things a little less of a headache I hope you found this video useful hit like and subscribe the links to New Sky of course and therefore our virtual airline Osprey Airways are in the description down below share your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in a live stream in the near future take care thanks for watching